Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on account management in ABT. In this tutorial, you will be able to create account, edit account, and delete account. In this tutorial, I am using ABT version 1.0, Android version 4.2, that is Jelly Bean, and a rooted tablet. For more information, please visit github.com slash androportal slash abt or else akashlabs.org slash docs slash abt slash index dot html. For this tutorial, you must be familiar with the principles of bookkeeping, how to run and start abt and how to create a new organization. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit spoken-tutorial.org. Select ABT application on Android 4.2. We will see ABT's welcome screen. We will choose Free Accounting Foundation from Select Existing Organization button. Now, let's tap on Login button and go ahead to the login screen. Select Admin for Role. Enter username and password for admin. Login as admin. We are now on the master menu of ABT. Tap on Create Account menu. When you enter the page for the first time, the alert box appears on the screen. The alert prompts a dialog to set account code type that is manual or automated. For manual account code, check the checkbox, tap on Confirm button, Remember, this is only one-time activity. This is Create Account page. An organization can have any number of accounts. Every account falls under a group and optionally a subgroup. All the group names are available in Group Name drop-down. This organization is of the type NGO. If organization type is NGO, it will include corpus in the list or else capital. The accounts will have credit opening balance under groups, corpus, current liability, loans liability and reserves. Corpus is the principal amount of an NGO or a trust. Capital is the amount invested in the business by the owner. Liabilities denote the amount which a business owes to another firm or a person. The accounts will have debit opening balance under groups, current asset, fixed assets, loans asset, investment and miscellaneous expenses asset. Fixed assets represent everything which a business owns and has a money value. It is an asset used in business for more than one year. They are always shown as debit balance. Accounts under groups, direct expense, direct income, indirect expense, indirect income will have zero opening balance. Direct expenses are expenses related to production and purchasing of goods. Direct income is earned from the business or for the services provided. Indirect expenses are expenses incurred after the manufacturing process is over. Indirect income is one that is earned by the way of non-business activities. Example, sale of old newspaper, sale of cartons. I will choose current asset as group name. Depending upon the group, select required subgroup. These are the subgroups provided by ABT. We can add new subgroup if required. I shall choose bank as subgroup. Let's enter account name as SBI. Recall, we had preferred to create account codes manually earlier. So here we see a field for account code. ABT suggests an account code as you can see. We can edit the suggested code or we can leave it as it is. Let's enter the debit opening balance. 
the default value as you can see is 0 you can accept this or enter any positive or negative value. I will enter 5000 in debit opening balance text box. You need to enter opening balance if you are setting up a new business or it's your first accounting package. Finally, bank balance will show the consolidated amount in the balance sheet. The total of all debit opening balances entered so far will be displayed here. Right now it is zero. It is so as we have not yet saved this account with its debit opening balance. Next, total of all credit opening balances entered so far is displayed here. Right now it is zero. It is so as no account with credit opening balance has been saved. Last field displays the difference between debit and credit opening balances. After filling all the necessary data, save the details. A message appears that you have successfully created the account. Note that the amount in the total debit opening balance has been updated. Total debit opening balance, total credit opening balance depend on what type of opening balance you have entered. Note that total debit opening balance, total credit opening balance and difference in opening balances are read-only fields. Let us create one more account and select direct expense as group name. Notice the subgroup list does not have any subgroups by default. If you do not wish to create a subgroup, you can select no subgroup option. For this entry, let us select Create new subgroup option. As soon as we do this, a new text box appears. Here we have to type the name of the subgroup we wish to create. Let us type salary. The created subgroup appears in the subgroup list after saving the account. Let us create an account salary for employees. An account under the group direct expense cannot have an opening balance. So there is no provision to enter an opening balance for this account. Notice that the account code is automatically generated. You can change the account code if you wish. Now let us save the details. We have successfully learned to create accounts. Now what if we typed the name incorrectly? What do we do? Well, don't worry at all, we can edit as well as delete the accounts. When we tap on Edit Account tab, we see a list of accounts created till now. We can edit them as well as delete them. Now, you can see a drop-down menu Search Account By by tapping on it. The account can be searched by either account name or account code. There is no provision of this drop-down if manual account codes was not checked. Only search by account name would have been visible. Let us search the account by account name. Type salary. Tap on salary for employees from the search result. A prompt box appears which asks whether we want to edit account or delete account. To edit name and opening balance of this account, let us tap on edit account option. Only account name and opening balance are editable. Salary for employees is under the group direct expense. Hence, we can only edit the account name and not the opening balance. Let us modify the account name to salary for staff. Save the changes. Message appears saying changes saved successfully. Now we will see how to delete an account. We can delete only those accounts which are not under any transaction. Select an account salary for staff from the list and tap on delete account option. It will prompt a confirmation dialog. Tap on yes to delete. 
a success message then appears saying desired account deleted. We now successfully edited and deleted an account. So, in this tutorial, we have learned to create account, edit account and delete account. As an assignment, create account purchase with group name, current liability and subgroup name, sundry creditors for purchase. Create account sales with group name, current liability and subgroup name, sundry creditors for expense. Watch the video available at the given link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials. Give certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the given link. This is Trupti Kini from IIT Bombay, signing off. Thank you very much for watching.